Um, and slowly but surely that became worse and worse. And as I said, when COVID hit, it was an isolating time for everybody. I really do appreciate that. But I was actually losing my remaining vision, which isolated me double, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And not having any support because we all had to be away from each other was even harder. Um, and not to be heard and not to be able to explore those emotions and what was happening for me with my mental health. Unfortunately, I did have a mental breakdown, which was probably the hardest time of my life. But, you know, I've always been a person that has to dig deep and believes that there will come a brighter day. Um, dig deep and hold tight and I eventually realised that uh, I needed to get some professional help and that's that's what I did. Um, went into therapy and it's all about talking really for me, it's about communicating my feelings and being heard mainly, being listened to and you know working out how I feel about what's happening to me instead of trying to you know kind of divert it all the time. Like you said my life is very busy, it's been very crammed with lots of things, but a major part of that is because I don't, my mind doesn't really want to think about what's happening to me, so I'll distract it with everything else. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you put it to the back of your mind? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I was hearing about your darkest point was that didn't they, you go into a room completely dark? Oh, to get okay. to get yeah. used to like yes. for when you go blind kind of thing. Yeah, you're, I think what you're thinking of is an exhibition that I actually created called Blind a Sixth Sense. Um, it's never been done before in the country, so I literally pioneered it. Um, and I put, I created six pieces of artwork that was all around the senses, and I put them into a completely pitch black uh, gallery, and then invited the uh, audience to come in and participate and interact with the pieces without vision. So it was, it was very much about, look, here I am, this is what it's like, come on, step into a blind person's world and have, open up your perceptions and use your senses, because I'm, I might be biased, but I think I'm right. I would say at least 95% of people with vision don't really use their other, their other senses as much as they could do. It's a very, very visually orientated world. And I was trying to kind of make a very social um, statement by that as well so that was what uh, the dark was so I mean are your your other senses like your hearing is that more heightened then now yeah it's a, that's a real that's always one that crops up I mean I do one of my jobs as an advocate for the blind is to go out and public speak so I'm lucky enough to get to, to kind of be an ambassador for Red in the UK and fighting blindness Island. so that gets me out to all these major conferences and then I get to talk about it and one of the things that always gets fired at me is, is your hearing really super good, you know? And it's like, do you know what? It's not that it's any better than yours, it's just used more. It's like a muscle. If you don't use that muscle, it won't grow strong. So because I'm using the hearing, it's something that is, you know, a re not a replacement, but it's something that I rely upon, like my hands with feeling, like my taste, like my smell. All of those things are just stronger because they're used more. Oh, amazing. I mean, it's amazing stuff, isn't it? You kind of think of the Marvel hero, Daredevil, who's blind, but his <laughs> yeah. hearing's like super hearing, oh, isn't absolutely. it? Oh, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah. The echolocation skill's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so do you wear like a costume when you go out as well? <laughs> well, only after 12. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the public speaking, Yeah. I mean, do you get nervous when you do that? Because you've done a lot of public speaking about things, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think when I started it, I was you know, kind of, oh my lord, you know, I, I've never done this before and it's in such big forums as well because they came to me after this exhibition, mm. like I've said, was uh, The Blind Show, which was Blind to Sixth Sense. Because that was so advertised, it was, it was all over the media, it was on the news, it was in the newspapers and the companies and the organisations started to hear about me. So it's not, it wasn't like I went and found them. And Retina UK came to me and actually said to me, look, you know what, would you like to be an ambassador for us? And would you like to then kind of fly the flag and, and educate people and advocate for visually impaired people? So of course I was over the moon to do so. But it was quite daunting at first because, you know, one of my first uh, gigs, as I always call them, being a musician, uh, one of the first gigs I had to do was a national, a national, um, a national piece in London which was yeah quite scary actually <laughs> mm. 
but I think you get used to it and I think I'd like to say one of the one of the sort of little ticks about when you can't see your audience to me like when I was singing and performing I couldn't see my audience so actually in my mind there was nobody out there so in a way it kind of it calms you a little bit and but then you hear them <laughs> then you're very much more aware oh okay yeah it's not just me then <laughs> with your super hearing <laughs> yes <laughs> Well, we'll play the next song is um, Where Did I Go Wrong? Tell me about that one. Yes, that's a good question. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so this is a little bit of a break interim from band sort of work. I started collaborating with a friend of mine who played piano. Um, he was a really talented keyboard player and I just kind of wanted to step away from Sender in a way just purely because that it was so rocky and I... I kept singing for the guys and we kept gigging but this was like a little side project where I was more exploring a little bit more kind of solely jazzy feel so this song is uh, from those days. <laughs> 